so what we did we have created one store right so that is the url of our store that url we need to share with our end user like sf-01 citrix india sorry not this one this one so let me copy that url and let me now i am operating as an end user okay so i go to here this is my store front url sf uh, citrix india web so now this is the uh, this is the store front now as a end user i have to enter my credential like uh, abc backslash test user 01 i have published one desktop to my test user i am entering the end user password now click on log on so now you can see one desktop is published to this user which is it dex right which we have published from this delivery controller okay so if i go to the delivery controller i have published uh, that desktop if i click on the desktop you can see it desktop has been published to one user and now when this user double click on this icon it will launch the desktop for test user 1 so now it is launching logging in now my user have the desktop give me a minute okay is this clear hello yes yes okay now for an example we have got uh, some new requirement like one application needs to be published for this user along with the desktop we have to publish one more application for this user right so in that case what we can do we can go to the delivery controller and we have we have got a requirement to publish the application right so now <coughs> go to the applications click on the add application click next and to which delivery group to it delivery group we have to publish the application to select the delivery group click on next now add application so we have two options here add application from the start menu so it will list all the application which is installed in the it desktop 01 right so what we have installed we have installed google chrome we have installed multiple application like that uh, free office version kingsoft version and we also have installed winrar as well where it is uh, here is the winrar right so just publish winrar to this user simply click ok click on next finish it so now one application is published to my it delivery group now if i ask user to refresh the store front you can see one more tab here now why one application is showing for this user 
along with the desktop. Desktop is this, and this is the application. Binda, let me launch that. So in some time we will see WinRAR will be launched for this user. So WinRAR is starting now. So here only application is published to that user, right? Now, <coughs> we have got one more requirement, like one new joiner is there in the organization and we have to publish only application to this user and the application name is Google Chrome for an example, right? So, for the same, again, go to the delivery controller, go to the application, Click on add application. Next to IT team. Next from the start menu, we can pick up. And let's uh, look for the Chrome. Here it is Google Chrome. Okay. Click OK. Click on next. Finish it. So now what we did. We have published Google Chrome and WinRAR to the entire delivery group. So if I refresh uh, this uh, test user 01, so he will also see the Google Chrome here, right? That we do not want, right? So now we have to publish Google Chrome only to one user. So to manage the access, go to the delivery controller, <coughs> click on the application, click on the properties. You can right click, right click on the application, go to the properties. And from here, you can limit the visibility for this application, right? So let me limit the visibility of Google Chrome to test user 2 only. I want Chrome for my test user 2, not for 1. Click OK and apply. In a same way, I can restrict my WinRAR application. Limit visibility. I can limit the visibility of this application <coughs> to test user one. So now, as per the scenario, my test user one only see WinRAR and test user two will see Google Chrome. Now, let me try to refresh this for test user one application you can see google chrome go away now let me sign up with test user one now let me ask second user to check which is test zero two so uh -huh, spelling mistake okay we will get uh, some credential error Okay, it is test zero two. Aha, uh -huh. what is happening here? There is no desktop and application available for this user right now. Okay, and why it is? Let me check again. Delivery group is fine. IT1 limit visibility for test uh, 0 2, it is also fine. <coughs> let me click on the cancel. Let me go to the delivery group and I have to uh, where it is, where it is, edit the delivery group. I have to give permission for test 2 for this delivery group. So test two, apply, okay. Now, let me refresh this again 
and you will see only google chrome is available is it clear or any doubt here no all good now that user can double click on chrome and chrome will be connected for this user okay so in a same way like uh, if you go here it is starting the chrome okay let me minimize this you can see right now how many sessions are connected two sessions are connected here right so that is for chrome and test user 1 earlier was connected with the desktop but right now i log off the test user 01 so there is no session connected for this user right so this is how it works now for an example now we have published the application in very very simple manner right so <laughs> now what we have to do we have got a new requirement like we have to add some manual application not from the start menu right so again go to the add not add machines go to the applications click on add application click on next delivery group is this click on next now we have to manually add the application right so why I, why I install that tor browser because when you install that tor web browser it will never go to the control panel right it will what it will do it will create one own folder on the desktop or any other location and it is getting launched from there right so now we have to provide the path so browse for the path it will automatically detect that machine so here in c drive we have installed tor web browser and go to the browser and you will find that icon firefox so this is a path and uh, this is a name of the application for administrator So what I can do, I can mention like tour project, okay. And if you want to uh, redirect that URL to specific specific website, you can do that. Click on OK. Click on Next. Finish it. So now, <clears throat> if I ask user to refresh. user will see one more application by name tour project right and in a same way like you know uh, sometimes uh, we are having uh, some uh, like you know services in the organization or the call centers who are calling the end users and they guys only need one application like amazon or flipkart or something like that right so what we can do we have got uh, we have to uh, publish uh, one url for end user with amazon right so what we can do simply we can also customize uh, the icons here so <coughs> for an example like uh, go to the delivery controller again and let's uh, we have to publish web browser only but uh, name should be flipkart or amazon right so <coughs> simply copy the web browser we are having google chrome right click duplicate the application so this is my chrome underscore one it is duplicate application simply go to the properties and name for administrator uh, will be google chrome only not google chrome let's make it amazon and here for end user as well let's rename it to amazon and into the delivery we have nothing into the location into the argument you can mention like https colon double slash www dot amazon dot com so whenever you are publishing some internal users for hr prospective or finance internal finance user you can simply publish the web browser and that's it click on apply now to make it like uh, 
uh, quite interesting right so what we can do we can change the icon means right now it will be visible for end user by name amazon but uh, that icon will be of google chrome so that uh, will not good right so now what we can do let me close this first let's download some amazon logo let's make it in png let's download this logo save images and let's name it amazon okay click on the save so now let's change this icon click on change choose the icon from a specific path i have saved that uh, in uh, this path double slash dc slash or you can keep it any uh, keep it at any location so here i have downloaded one image let me click on all files and here is that image for amazon open it why that option is grayed out uh, might be it is not accepting that uh, jpg image so let me check with some other uh, do i have any other image no maybe rename it to ico sorry rename that png to ico the file amazon yes yes it means it is uh actually looking PNG. for that uh, you know those kind of extension dot yeah, I, I yeah, I yeah okay let me try to download that again amazon logo dot uh, i see you Okay, that is not uh, the thing, but you are getting the thing like what I'm doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it is taken the PNG image. Okay, let me try with PNG as well. Because earlier uh, when I used with Flipkart, now it was working. Okay, so uh, again, go back there. Click on change from the location Okay, let's try with PNG if it works. Otherwise, we have to. Okay, PNG, uh, this is accepted. Okay, so now click OK. Now, user will get this kind of icon. Simply click on apply. And click on OK. Now, let's see how it works so if i ask user to refresh again so you can see for end user it is a it is amazon right but for our for us for engineers it is basically a google chrome right so we have changed the icon and we have redirected that web browser to some specific url right so now let me launch this url like application
so it is launching now and you will see like by default it is it is redirecting user to some specific web browser so right now internet is not enabled in this that particular machine so it will <coughs> not uh, reach the server but uh, whenever you are publishing any internal url or any internal thing for your end user so you can manage in that way you can enter some argument like website and then you can change the icons as per the company icon whatever the icons they are following okay is it clear yes okay now just let me know how many days are required for you to create your own infra like you are having bare metal uh, with you right now right you are having each and every recorded sessions like uh, i will share uh, these sessions with you uh, today only right so now you are having uh, all these sessions recorded till testing of our deployment or also we have covered some troubleshooting like how to uh, like allocate the things to end user right so just let me know how many days is it required for you to complete your test lab till ninth one okay so you have to create your own infra right then you have to play with your infra right then you will have uh, you will get uh, multiple questions in your mind to ask right so that uh, task you have to perform right so <laughs> i will share all the recordings now and then we will uh, uh, we will cover the troubleshooting part means for an example like uh, uh, if your delivery controller goes down right in that case what will happen means for an example my user is connected to uh, not this user we do not have any desktop for this user let me log on with uh, abc backslash test 01 so for test 01 one desktop is published right let me open the desktop you can see that desktop is loading for my test user so now <coughs> for an example my user session is connected right it is connected now and our production server like delivery controller is running right for any xyz reason what will happen your delivery controller will go away right so means let me shut down the delivery controller for any xyz reason your delivery controller is out of reach so i am just shutting down my delivery controller <coughs> and session is still running is it so now my delivery controller is shut down now right but uh, there will be no impact on the users which are already connected to the session right because now this session is getting delivered by the storefront server okay my user is still able to operate right although my delivery controller goes down my sql server is also goes down why because i have configured my sql server in this machine right my license server is down and my directory is also down right so my four components are down with the single machine right but still my user is connected to the session why because my user is connected to my hypervisor machines which is hosted in my hypervisor and user is still able to work right so now what happen if i log off this user let me log off the user i sign out that user now as you can see there is no app and desktop available to you at this time why because there will be no impact on running user session if if a database goes down right but <coughs> once user log off then he will never be able to reconnect again to their session that's what this is getting that error and for new users as well means if i try to log off from here right 
and if i try to log in with the other user like test02 so my entire things are down means my query is going to the storefront server for us storefront server so let me show you what is going on here look my delivery controller is down right <laughs> my storefront is up my director down license server down this down this down okay lekin now what is happening my users um, are able to access the storefront why because my storefront server is up right and when users entering the credential those credentials are getting validated by the active directory server which is completely fine but when that query comes to the sql server so my sql server is down so my uh, my <coughs> my data center is not be able to locate the resources like what kind of uh, application and desktop are published to that particular user so means sql server is down like uh, it is unable to validate like which application is published to that user so that's why user is getting this error there is no application and desktop published to you that time right so now if i powered on this with this my all those components are up in some time like sql server will be up studio will be up and delivery control will, will be up right so once that machine one, one question yeah one question here please mm -hmm. so for example if the user is using word and the delivery controller goes down mm -hmm. but everything is working normal but mm -hmm. what if he tries for another application then he will get error and so if no he will never be able to you know uh, go to the uh, like <laughs> Uh, like uh, you know uh, like uh, access the applications why because okay. in our case okay. we are having only single delivery controller but in production you will have multiple yes. delivery controller so if one delivery controller goes down na in that case that connection automatically goes to the second delivery controller and that delivery controller will publish the applications to end user okay a user he would not know what's happening here yeah that he user do not know right because we have to configure means right now we are having only one delivery controller so everything goes down so we have like users are getting that option that error there is okay, nothing to you but in production yeah. multiple delivery controllers was there so if single server will go down there will be no impact on the production connections will be okay. routed to the second delivery controller so now okay. if i refresh here still users are getting this options why because there are few services Uh, which will run in some time and in some times user will get each and everything restored okay. well, one more question so mm -hmm. when the user is connected to the delivery controller mm -hmm. where the where his data is stored like his h drive home drive where is the data stored so basically there is nothing to do, do with the data with the citrix infra right so data has been managed by the active directory machines like oh, okay okay i see yeah. yes. like here in my active directory i am having users like uh, test users right so this is my test user right so if i go to the properties of test user if i go to the account uh where is that option profile in the profile in the profile yeah so in the profile my okay. user's home drive is this dc user profile test user 01 right yes so like my user data is here in share user profile test user 01 data is here okay data has been managed by the file server so for me this is my file server and whatever the users i am having all the user data is here only means my user can log into any machine and he will get all the files which are stored here in every single machine yes exactly okay. okay now you can see services are up and <laughs> things are normal okay so just let me know i think uh, we are almost done uh, with that citrix class right now you will have to uh, work hard to uh, set up the entire lab 
and I will arrange few more classes uh, for you for troubleshooting once you create uh, your entire infra, right? So uh, just uh, configure the bare metal device, okay? And <laughs> try to get this done by uh, this weekend. This weekend I will be busy, I told you, right? So if required, we can connect tomorrow, okay? And if you got stuck somewhere, please let me know. I will help you, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, but have an, and what I will do, I will upload uh, all those recordings on the same link that I sent to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye.